Hello my friends, how are you? In this video, I will show you how not to show thread on your EPP sewing. Okay, for that, I have everything I need. I have my two templates that I will be sewing. I have my 50 weight Orifield thread. I have a clover clip, just this, this is optional in case you wanna use it or not. I have my Thread Heaven, which is the thread conditioner that you will love if you use it. And then uh, I have my tiny scissors and I have my 11 uh, milliner um, needle, hand sewing needle. And um, this is all I need in my hand sewing for EPP. So are you ready? Let's get to work. For the knot, I probably won't be doing any different knot that uh, you do usually do. So I'm gonna wrap around my finger and I'm gonna pull. You know, I'm not um, ex any expert. You know, here uh, is a little bit messy. So I'm gonna cut this. I saw some of my friends doing amazing knots. Nazis is, for me, is a kind of a science. The second thing is to condition, always to condition your thread. For this, I use uh, Thread Heaven, which is a conditioner uh, similar to bee wax. But in my opinion, bee wax is a little bit dry. And I, I can never, uh, even if I cover it and I close, um, the plastic container, it doesn't maintain uh, moist. This, I don't know what material is made of, but it's super, super moist. It's moisturizing and it's gonna, uh, it's gonna do two things to your thread. It's gonna um, strength, give it a strength, and at the same time, um, to make it very slippery and it's gonna run through the fabric like heaven. Okay, so I have my thread condition. <clears throat> okay, for to start sewing your first piece, remember on my last video, I told you about the tails pointing down on triangles. So I'm gonna align both templates and some people may find um, easy or more comfortable to have a clover clip here. So this is optional if you wanna do it or not. And we're gonna to proceed to uh, run the needle here to uh, hide my knot. So I'm gonna grab both tails and I'm gonna open them up to reveal the corner. And it's here where my needle should come out to start my first, uh, to give my first stitch. So I'm gonna grab my needle and I'm gonna run behind the scenes in here. And I'm gonna try to eyeball it. I think I got it. And I'm gonna pull my thread to hide the knot. Oops, I'm sorry. Let me go in again. All right, I got it here. All right, so with both tails down, I have to give my first secure stitch. So I'm gonna grab both fabrics at the same time, just a little bit of each of the fabrics. And I'm gonna give my first stitch. And before pulling all the, all the thread all the way, I'm gonna run or I'm gonna pass my needle through the thread or on that loop and I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna give my first secure stitch. I'm gonna do it one more time just in case to be more secure. <laughs> Both pieces of fabric, run the thread and before pulling the thread all the way, I'm gonna run my needle through the loop and I'm gonna give a tight pull. And this is how we have secure uh, our end. Okay, so now I'm ready to start sewing my seam um, with um, the stitch that I will teach you. Okay, 
I'm ready to start sewing my seam. Okay, we end up uh, securing um, the end of the seam. So to give my first stitch, I'm gonna move away one eighth of an inch and I'm gonna give just one stitch to one side. I wanna point out something to you. Okay, on the traditional whipping stitch, you go around and you grab both pieces of fabric from one side and the other, and um, you stitch that way throughout the end. In this stitch that I'm gonna teach you is a little bit different. You will only grab one side of the fabric at a time on each stitch, okay? So, but I promise you, you won't see any thread when you open your templates. Um, this is how I do it for all my EPP sewing. I love it. Um, so you'll see. Again, one, just a couple of threads of fab fabric from this side, and I'm gonna give my first stitch. And then I'm gonna come from this side and an exact the same point where my thread is coming up from the other side, I'm gonna give my second stitch. I'm gonna grab just a couple of threads from the fabric and I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna give my second stitch. And then I will come from this side again, move away um, one eighth of an inch. I'm gonna give another stitch here. And then I'm, come, I'm gonna come from this side and I'm gonna grab a couple of threads from this fabric and I'm gonna give another stitch. And then I'm gonna continue in that way throughout the entire seam. At the beginning is a little bit um, uncomfortable because of the tails, at the end. All right, so we are here closer to the end and I wanna do uh, these last stitches with you to show you how you finish. Um, on the last segment, I forgot to tell you that the point here on this stitch is not, when you, when you give a stitch to this side, to each side, the point is not to cross the cardboard or to piece the cardboard. Let me show you exactly what I mean. If you don't want any thread to show, you won't have to do this. It's to come in from one side to the next. The purpose of this stitch is give the stitch to pointing upwards. So the needle always have to come on the edge here on the upper part, okay? So that's the point, that's how you're gonna ensure that uh, no thread is gonna be visible when you open your template. Again, pointing up. All right, so I'm gonna end up giving the last um, stitches. I'm gonna move away again. Can you see how I do it? I put the needle from the bottom and I uh, try to pull the needle up, always up. Gonna meet at the same point, going up. One eighth of an inch away. Meeting at the same point. And remember each time for each stitch, 
remember to give a, a pull. All right, so I'm getting close, close, very close to the end. This way, okay, open as much as I can, and I have to stitch up to here. So I gave this last stitch here, if you can see, and then I'm coming up this way. thread and then this last two stitches or two security stitches as, as I did in the beginning is they're gonna grab both fabrics at the same time so I'm gonna give one and if you remember we don't pull all the all the thread away uh, or all the, uh, to the end I'm sorry um, we are gonna leave just a loop and we're gonna pass the needle here through the loop gonna pull so we have one secure stitch and we are going to give the last stitch grabbing both fabrics and again I'm going to pass my needle through the loop and then you finish uh, your seam I'm going to cut my thread I always leave just a tiny tail just a tiny piece of uh, thread in here. So are you ready? We are gonna um, reveal the pieces. You remove the clip if you were using one, and we are gonna open and ta-da. Okay, as I told you, you won't see any thread, any thread at all. The only thing uh, that you may see is some kind of uh, marks from the stitches, but after you remove the cardboard, uh, this is gonna go away. Um, very simple, very easy, clean, and this is how you see it from the um, reverse side or from the back. It's an even stitch, but as I promise you, you won't see any thread at all showing on the front side. So, okay. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. And uh, so we see you around next time for a future video. Okay, bye-bye.